What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making grilled cheese. That's right, grilled cheese. Everybody loves grilled cheese. I know I do. And there's been kind of a debate on what is better to put on your grilled cheese. We, I've always used butter. A few years back, I started using mayo. I've used them both, but I've never tried one against the other. So this video is about mayo versus butter. And then you're gonna get a bonus video because we're gonna double stack the grilled cheese, which I've never done before. So I, I can't wait to do it. Uh, it's gonna be fun, so stick around. So what we got here for our ingredients, we have some regular American cheese. We've got some Kobe Jack cheese and we've got some mild cheddar cheese as well. And it's not about that though. It's more about the mayo, which I chose Duke's versus the butter, which I chose an Irish butter from Kerrygold. This was actually recommended by one of my subscribers, Bobby Catton. Bobby is one of the biggest supporters of YouTube content creators for cooking. Everybody loves her, everybody knows her, and uh, Bobby, thank you so much. All right, and then finally, our last ingredient, of course, some white bread. There's, you can use any kind of bread you want uh, for grilled cheese, but I said, you know, let me just go with the basic white and see how it turns out. So what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. Mayo versus butter. So you want to take three pieces of bread. And again, I've never done this before, but I've been thinking about it. So you want to take two pieces and give it a nice, generous amount of mayo, whatever your preferred mayo is. Don't skimp. This is what's going to make it nice and crusty and golden brown. I don't know about golden, but toasty. Toasty brown. There we go. And then the third piece is gonna be the middle piece. And I wasn't sure what to do, but I thought about it and thought about it. I mean, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna butter or butter or mayo both sides of this one because why not? <laughs> so gonna lose some on the plate, no big deal but we're gonna pre-do this to make it easier once we're out at the griddle. All right, so big recommendation. Let this sit out for a little bit, the butter, so it gets a little softer, because otherwise you're gonna have a really hard time. Same thing though, we're gonna put this butter on one side of two slices. Takes a little bit longer, but just be gentle with it because you do not wanna mess up the bread. and we'll go fast here. Good to go. Let's go throw them on the griddle. All right, so we wanna get this up to about 350, 375, kind of like a medium low. Uh, it's gonna take some time. I'd rather melt the cheese really good and not burn the bread. So that's what we're looking for. All right, here we go. Mayo on the left, butter on the right. This is the middle piece, lathered on both sides, so we're gonna toast them on both sides before we even start with the other pieces. All right, these are gonna take about a minute on each side, and we give them a quick flip. There you go. Wow, that one is definitely more done than this one. <laughs> and look how that one's rolling around. So I'll turn this side down a little bit. So again, mayo on the left, butter on the right. Turn this around, let's try to cook this evenly. Same with this one. For whatever reason, the center of the griddle always gets warmer than the other parts. All right, this one is done. We'll take that off. And of course, the rain is coming down harder now, so. Shouldn't take too long. <laughs> All right, mayo is done as well. Let's take it off. All right, so here we go. Now we build mayo on the left, butter on the right. We got our cheeses. We're gonna put 
Jack and American on the bottom on both. Jack and American. We're gonna put those two pieces of toast that we just toasted. Mayo on the left, butter on the right. Then we're gonna put more cheese, American and cheddar. American and cheddar. And then finally, we're gonna top it with the coating side up, because we're gonna flip them like that. That looks good. Turn this down. I do not want it to burn, obviously. Just give it a little peek, and it's already getting done on that side, so we're gonna go ahead and flip it over like that. Looks pretty. Flip that side as well. Turn it way down, and then we're gonna cover it and let it cook. Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> that looks so good. We are getting rained on right now. I'm doing my best to keep the camera dry. That's the main thing for me. Um, but these are basically done. So I'm gonna pull these off. Mayo on the left, butter on the right, and then we're gonna give it a taste test. <laughs> All right, we are ready to try this out. I mean, I, as far as looks goes, man, they both look ridiculous. Look at the cheese pull on both of them. I know it's not about the cheese pull. It's really about the mayo versus butter and obviously the double stacker. Can't wait to try that. But look at the tops of these. I mean, come on. That is the most golden brown looking crust. You can't tell the difference what is mayonnaise and what is butter. So it's all down to the taste test now at this point. I mean, wow, looks delicious. Let's give it a shot. So starting with the mayo, just give you a little bit of a close up. Looks awesome, super thick. I'm excited about that. Let's, uh, let's give it a taste. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. This is the answer I've been looking for. Mm. Okay. I literally had to stop myself for a second and think about the mayonnaise because the double stacker is so good. The crunchiness plus all the gooey cheesiness on the inside, it kind of distracted me, I'm gonna be honest. But I got the flavor and all that of the mayonnaise in my head, okay. Let's try the, uh, the butter, here's the butter. Kerrygold Irish butter versus Duke's mayonnaise. So it looks really good. Okay, here we go, going in. Mm. I need one more bite. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, when I first bit into the mayo one, I'm thinking, how can anything beat this? I mean, so good but the butter that irish butter flavor wow that completely took it to the next level butter wins hands down not even close not doing mayonnaise anymore i'm sticking to irish butter everybody thank you for watching liking subscribing and commenting and we'll keep on cooking big cat out